Yo, what is up guys? So yes, in this video, I'll be talking about which hive collar will be the best for this upcoming business update, which yes, that is most likely coming soon as well, probably sometime in January, not sure, maybe the first week or two will get that update, but we do already know as well what most of this update even is going to be and what buffs slash nerfs are even coming now. And I won't be only talking about which hives make you the most honey only, I will be doing other stuff stuff like which is best for quests and more so just make sure to watch till the end of the video and make sure to subscribe as well as really really close to 100,000 subscribers but okay now as we are getting them stickers this update and that's really the main thing coming out that's giving buffs we are also getting the beesmas buffs though from the christmas tree but that's really there normally so yeah and if you do even look at what buffs are from the cosmetics we are getting you have stuff like loads of capacity, honey at hive, her pollen, super crit power, loads of bee attack, more pollen over here, and then some really nice field buffs for basically every field really, yeah. And these buffs are obviously good for every single hive color, but I do think it mostly benefits blue because of the capacity. But at the same time, there's no point really having more capacity than you have right now if you're not even filling. And you also have that epic bee pollen, and that means you can add a couple more frosty bees or something like that to your hive because that 20% epic bee pollen really be looking nice and the frosty bees do have blue bomb plus unlike the buoyant bees but now let's talk more about which hives to use for quests and stuff oh yeah and also the quest this year probably will have puff shrooms robo challenge stuff and now trading and stickers basically a combination of all the other years combined the bbm quest is definitely going to be fun but i do think think that you should just be blue hive whenever you first get SSA until you have enough honey to switch to red hive or white hive so you know like 100 to 500 trillion or can just stay blue if you want to though because blue will make you the most honey at the start until you are dripped out with it and got to like 500 quadrillion or something all time and when you are completing quests as blue too make sure to add some attack bees if you need to do robo challenge or if you need red pollen go add some red bees then if you have red hive that will probably be the best with most quests since you got the nice attack and pollen collecting and everything will make you good honey as well then white hive is obviously best with honey right now but more on that in a second though and then i do mean it's okay with attack but you would have to add in some spicy and more normal attack bees and now back to the honey part so we obviously have first over here the white hive Yes, White Hive is still first. There aren't really any major nerfs or anything this update. So then we also have Red Hive second and then Blue Hive third. And none of these hives are horrible right now, by the way. Even if it's last, that doesn't mean that. You just have to know what you are doing. So using every hive is really good. You just have to swap out your bees for whatever you are actually doing. But white hive literally can do like 100 quadrillion or more. Like it's actually insane. And once again, there aren't even much nerfs this update too. So yeah, this bees mess is definitely going to be interesting with all the stickers. And if you guys do want any guides like, you know, how to make more honey, the best hive for everything to use, boosting tips and literally everything really make sure to go to my channel's homepage and scroll down to the bss guides playlist to find them there or they will all just be in the description but yeah for now thank you so much for watching and bye